All right, you guys. Uh, anyway, it's a result of 15 years of research and development. Um, and today's gift, that's what I want to talk about next. And uh, this is Erica's department. Uh, what we are going to do today, for those people who can stay on here for one hour, and I promise you we'll be done in, in uh, 45 minutes from now, uh, we're going to give away a free microneedling treatment uh, here in the office. And that's done by Parissa, our registered nurse, and it's microneedling with radio frequency. It's called Vivace. Uh, certainly, we evaluate every patient. So if you were not an appropriate candidate for this, we would give you $2,500 in credits for another uh, procedure here in the office. But it's an amazing treatment. Uh, we use these tiny little needles. We put numbing cream on the skin. And uh, these tiny little needles go through the skin and they create uh, heat with radio frequency, which causes you to have less fine lines and wrinkles. And I would say it's probably one of our most popular uh, treatments. The great thing about this is you can still go out in the sun, but it just helps give you a smoother texture to, texture to your skin and more youthful appearance. Um, it's, it's one of the top uh, procedures on real self. We've been using it for years. We love it. It's actually one of our most favorite procedures here in the office. Um, the results are pretty amazing. Look at these crow's feet. You can see the before and after. Uh, this is after one treatment. Uh, and here's, you can see the fine lines and wrinkles are much improved in this uh, woman's uh, after picture on the, on the right side. Uh, no downtime with this one. Um, it's done here in the office. And you know the day of, you have a little bit of uh, sort of little blood spots and so on. But then by the next day, you're out and about. And we tell our patients they could be on a red carpet the next day. So it's a, it's a great treatment. And we're going to be giving this away right at the end of the, right. of the talk. And what Erica will do is she'll look in the chat room, and we're going to select a name. And uh, we'll call out your name. And then we'll contact you. And we'll get you all set up for the treatment. So let's talk about my Elevate. Um, it's our number one procedure we do here. It's something I pioneered, and it's something that I've been thinking about and working on for years. We were also featured in Zell Magazine as the Zoom Lift uh, this last year. And basically what they were saying is that, that our procedure, which is my Elevate, is, is one of the best ways to address the muscles and you combine it with energy. We're gonna talk about that today in the form of a laser or radio frequency. And then we may remove a little bit of fat with liposuction. Uh, just like I said earlier, there are 12 million Americans who are unhappy with this area underneath the chin. I'm one of those. I'm looking for my My Elevate surgeon because I don't want to have my neck open. But this is an area that a lot of people come see us about and they want to look better. And this is an area that we treat really well. So as I was saying earlier, My Elevate is the missing link for bands and glands. When we talk about bands and glands, we're talking about those cords of muscle that we get down the front of the neck and then the glands underneath that start sort of uh, sagging as we age. And this, this treatment works great for those. These are pictures of uh, doctors, patients. If you look in the after pictures, you can see the muscle bands are more visible. None of these are My Elevate patients. All of these have had popular treatments that you all have probably heard of. This is a face type patient. Here's an old therapy patient. Look at the muscle bands afterwards. They're actually worse. Here's Precision Smart. Uh, we use it, Precision TX. I love the technology, but you need to couple it with something to uh, lift the muscles underneath the skin. Here's an RF technology called Thermitite. And then Renuvion, it's also very popular as well. I've used uh, the technology with all of these. It works really well. And here's a patient just having a liposuction. And you can see her neck looks better in the after picture, but just notice the muscle banding now is more apparent. And that's what we use my Elevate to do. Um, how long have I been working on this? My whole career. I went into practice in 1998 when I finished at USC in plastic surgery. And uh, I realized early on that the neck procedures were really invasive. And I thought there's got to be a way to sew the neck muscles. If you look at this, this is traditional surgery without opening the neck. And so, you know, I just thought there's got to be a way to get sutures in there to sew them. And that's where I came up with the idea of a lighted needle and thread. Traditional procedures, you can see this list of complications. They're just more invasive, which means more complications, less predictable healing, and so on. And this is the way most doctors do it now. Um, I'm teaching a lot of doctors the techniques. I just got back from London a few weeks ago, uh, but this is something that I've been working on, as I said, for over 15 years. These are the traditional procedures, an incision under the chin, lumpy bumpiness. You know, this isn't good in this woman. It's not good in this guy. Uh, these are actually my patients from way back when, uh, when I would open the neck. And you can see a little step off here. Very commonly happens with these older procedures. Here's a My Elevate patient, an early one. Look how smooth that is and how natural it is. Uh, here's a young lady. I did hers. 
do you see this is open this is the old technique it looks a little lumpy a little surgical and this is her sister who saw me later on in the years and look how smooth hers is this is a patient who was done with the earlier version of my elevate so the science of how it works in the beginning um, this is kind of an x-rated picture this is how it looks underneath your skin you'll have to turn your head away if it bothers you uh, you can look at the animated picture on the left but what I realized and what I discovered was all of this framework that holds our skin on is strong enough to hold sutures. So think of this lighted needle passing through that space and that's how we support it. And that was unique. And I published this back in 2012. We also realized that by tightening it up and not cutting these ligaments, when you tighten the suture, the skin lifts up with it, which is really cool. And also we uh, learned that it lifts everything up and holds the skin down. So you have like an invisible chin strap underneath there. Whereas a traditional technique, all the skin would have been cut away and it becomes very unstable and you can have uneven healing. So what my Elevate is, it's using light to deliver sutures directly on the su uh, surface of muscles. It's not a thread lift. This is totally more advanced than that. And this lasts years versus a thread lift that lasts less than a year. This is how long I've been working on it, you guys, a long time. <laughs> Um, started thinking about it in 1998 and hired my engineer back in 2006 and designed the instruments I'm going to show you uh, very shortly. And then spent uh, 10 years uh, in research and development doing over 2,500 of these cases here in my practice and learning, learning from the imaging system that I also invented. I'm going to show you here in a minute. These are the tools I invented. This is the lighted needle and thread, the light handle. There's a little puncture device, a little dermal clearing device, and a marking tape that we use for the procedure. This is the paper where I published it back in 2012, and I learned a lot from this. Uh, this is in one of the most prestigious journals, and they talked about the areas where I could improve it, and that's what I spent the last decade doing. And so this is the imaging system I built. I built an imaging system that orbits around the patient. And when you come here in the office and you meet us, you're gonna get imaged by this system. Uh, one of these folks will sit you down or stand you up and image you. This was the first system that I built. And now this is the system Ovia we have Ovia provides now. aesthetics practices with a fast, foolproof system to capture and compare patient treatment results over time. Aesthetics industry professionals know the value of high quality patient imaging for both pre and post procedure consultations. With non invasive energy treatments increasing in popularity, comparative image analysis is even more important since these modalities typically provide subtle results and require multiple sessions to achieve the desired outcome. Patented centering technology accurately positions and frames the subject, while integrated LED lighting ensures ensures consistent artifact-free illumination across a broad range of ambient lighting conditions. In just 12 seconds, the OVO system captures 360 discrete angle high-resolution images while simultaneously rendering a dynamic video profile of the imaging subject. OVO's Image Comparison Studio provides aesthetics practitioners with a powerful consultation tool. Local cloud and hybrid storage solutions make working with and sharing OVO images simple, flexible, and efficient. One of my friends introduced me to Dr. Miller and he explained to me how he had this fascinating new technology. So I went in to see what it was all about. And it's this beautiful 360 state-of-the-art camera that allows you to see yourself as others see. I was very excited to see what I look like all around. I've never seen a picture of me like that. It helped me make a better decision on what results I wanted. When patients tip their head back or tip their head forward, patients can see how a facelift might help with skin laxity or skin folds. The greatest thing about it is, is it's not a computer generated image. It's actually a real life dynamic video image. Each session takes about three to four minutes, and that's so that we can obtain five different views. I'm very excited to share this with everyone. Um, highly recommend it. This fascinating breakthrough technology. Aesthetics begins with Ovio. Ovio provides aesthetics practices with a fast, full. So the imaging system is something that you'll see here in the office. And uh, as a matter of fact, just a few days ago, this is Diego who's on here today. He's part of our team. He presented this at the Aesthetic Society meeting and we did a patient survey and our patients love it because they really get to see their results. So 
when you come here, we will image you and you'll see the results of any procedure we do for you because we believe in, you know, the proof is in the pudding and showing you what we've done. Um, our camera is superior because it, it shows you exactly how you look, how other people see you. And we really help people understand the results. And honestly, I have to give this camera credit for me developing my Elevate to where it is today because it enabled me to literally go back in time and learn how to make the procedure even better. So here's the exciting technology. This is my Elevate. Uh, this is a very G-rated animation, which I'll show you. It's about five minutes long. But this is how it works, you guys. Uh, the circles are your glands. The lines are the muscle bands. And literally in the operating room, all the skin is numb because we use numbing uh, medicine. Uh, this week I've done four of them. I've done four lifts. That means we remove skin. And today I did just a my elevate. So we don't remove skin with those. And the patients, uh, three of them were awake um, just under local anesthesia. And so we make little punctures where those little dots are. And uh, those little punctures, we call those access ports. And that's where we pass the little lighted needle and thread in and out of. And that's how we create the suture matrix uh, right over the muscle. So as opposed to opening the whole front of the neck, like an old traditional invasive procedure, we're able to place the suture just like you see with this marking pin uh, underneath the skin, right on the muscle. And literally we have the patients tip their head back and we tie it down to where we can just see the shape of the jawline. And this is what we call the Hollywood jawline. And this is what my Elevate does best. So here's each little tool that I designed. Uh, this is a little puncture device and it makes a, just a precise little puncture in the skin. And then we use these little punctures to insert the lighted needle and thread. And uh, we just kind of go around and make the little punctures. The patients don't feel any of this. So this is not a torture sort of thing. It's, it's all uh, done with uh, local anesthesia. And then the next tool we use is what's called a little dermal clearing device. And this little device goes in each little puncture and we clear away the little attachments of the skin. Um, I show this video so often in consultations. And when I was putting this together today, you know, I thought I wanna make you all feel like you're here. And uh, this is kind of the best way so that when you leave today, you're gonna have a real clear idea of how this works. I don't know if you'll be good enough where you could do the procedure, but you'll certainly have a good idea of the concept of the procedure. And uh, like I said, you guys saw how many years it took me to put this all together. Um, each little tool that I designed with my biomedical engineer has a very clear purpose. And uh, when we're training other surgeons how to do this, we teach them how to use this tool kit. Um, so here's the, the whole crux or the, you know, the foundation of the technology. The most important uh, part of it all is the lighted needle and thread. So it's a fiber optic rod that we call a suture rod, which basically means a suture and a rod. As opposed to a traditional needle, it's threaded in the middle as opposed to one end. And this allows the rod to uh, pass from puncture to puncture to puncture. And we can actually rotate it so that we can leave the little tip underneath the skin, like you're seeing here, and just carry on. And uh, what this does is this ensures the accurate and precise uh, delivery of that suture strand right on the muscle. So we're, we're literally building a corset uh, underneath the skin that will support and shape everything. Uh, and it's very precisely placed. And the light tells the surgeon exactly how deep they're going so that they are always in the right plane. And so the suture is always consistently just laying right on the muscle. And so we always tell our patients, you're going to have a secret weapon. Uh, you're going to have a little uh, chin strap underneath as if you were taking your fingers, which everybody does when they look in the mirror, when they want to have their neck cleaned up. Uh, you're going to have one that just sits under there that nobody can see. Uh, nobody can feel it. And it's all done through little needle punctures. And it just stays there and supports everything. And that camera system I just showed you really helped me understand where each of these dots go. Um, it may look simple and so on, but this is a year after years of development, learning exactly where to place those. And when doctors learn this, they have a little marking tape they put on there so they know uh, exactly where to place them. And so we just kind of thread it underneath. Um, there's nine little punctures. Uh, doctors who like to golf, they always joke and say it's like playing nine holes of golf. Uh, you know, they just go from one to the next to the next but we're just literally placing a suture strand that starts in the middle, goes up behind one ear, right along the jawline to the other ear, and then back underneath the chin, and then out the middle. And then we just tie it at the very end. And then we just push the little knot down in the space, 
and all of these little one millimeter or these two millimeter punctures just heal on their own. So you don't have stitches. The gentleman we did today, he's from San Francisco, is that right? Yeah. And so we'll see him tomorrow and then he's gonna stay an extra day down here and then he'll fly back to San Francisco on Saturday. So uh, the nice thing about the My Elevate procedure alone uh, is you don't have to have stitches taken out. And we used a laser, which I'm gonna show you in a minute to help tighten his skin. I love technology. I love inventing technology, but it's very expensive to invent something. So I tend to buy stuff as well, but we use a laser to help tighten the skin. And so it gives you a little bit of a lift. But if somebody has a lot of excess skin, then we still do a little skin removal, um, but it's just less involved and less invasive than a traditional neck lift or facelift. So here we are at the very end, you know, the two suture strands are out. And basically what the doctor does is just ties these and, and the procedure is done. So here it is, this is X-rated again. Uh, this is the first part of the procedure where we use the suture to make a little cut in the muscle band. Uh, and what this does, is it just helps us so that these muscle bands are less noticeable down the front of the neck. Uh, in a traditional surgery, the doctor would have had to open the neck completely and use scissors to cut that. We use the suture like a little giggly saw to make a little cut in the muscle band. So this is the first step. And then the next step is where we place the suture suspension. I'll show you in a minute. But look at this patient as she has her OVO scans. Look at the support underneath her chin when she looks downward. And that's from the suture suspension. And here where she uh, flexes and relaxes her neck muscles, you can see that band is much less uh, noticeable. And if you look here in the left frame, you can see the band really pulls everything down. And if you look here in a right frame, this is after we made the little cut in it and she has the little suture suspension there. And here's an actual patient x-rated again. This is actually Walter who was just sitting right here. And this is how we do it. He's totally awake um, and we just thread it underneath the skin and you guys can see that nice light coming through the skin. And this is how we create the suture matrix underneath the skin. And uh, you know our patients are awake, so they turn their head from left to right to help. And here you guys can see me flipping the rod going to the next little puncture. And then we literally just go up behind the ear. It takes about eight minutes to do this. It's a really quick procedure. The, the part of the procedure that takes a long time is injecting the numbing medicine, treating the skin with a laser to tighten it, uh, doing a little bit of liposuction if there's fat, you know, all those things. But the My Elevate is really quick. Um, so here's the laser I use, which is called a Precision TX. And this laser we pass underneath the skin and it's high technology. And what it does, it heats the undersurface of the skin and it tightens the skin. It causes 30% tightening of the skin. So we treat our patients. We use multi-modalities when we're treating the skin. We tighten the skin, we lift the muscles and we remove fat if there's fat there. So we use a laser. And then we also use this really cool device to make our incisions. And this is a uh, type of technology that uses radio frequency. It literally just makes the skin just, just separate so beautifully. And it's not using a knife or anything. And you can see here, this is someone who had their eyes done and the skin just comes apart. It's not even hot. It's called temperature surgical. Absolutely love it. So my elevates everywhere. Doctors are presenting it everywhere. This is just last year and starting this year. The meetings just go on and on. Um, I was just in uh, London presenting it. So I'm teaching people around the world. It's exciting. So um, here's, here's the, the important slide. So who is my elevate for? Uh, we call it a type one, two, three uh, skin or uh, patient selection. Uh, we have our young patients where we might just use my elevate alone with a little bit of fat removal. Our middle group is where we have a little bit of skin laxity and we'd use my elevate with a laser to tighten the skin. And then our older patients, uh, today or this week I did three where we remove skin. And so we do a little skin removal and my elevate and then we treat the skin with energy as well to improve the skin. These are just kind of some pictures. This would be a type one. Here's our type one. This is Walter who's sitting right here next to me. Uh, you guys can see his result. Uh, this is, uh, about a year and a half afterwards, uh, you can see his neck, just see that, you know, how things are lifted and more supported. He has more defined jawline. Uh, here's another one. This is a young lady who genetically just had a full neck and wanted to have the shadowing, wanted to have that Hollywood jawline. This is her uh, about a year after her procedure, her myelivate procedure. 
And then here's our type two patient. These are the ones where we use energy. And this is my transition slide. And I know I have Cindy on here. And Cindy, I'm going to unmute you if I can. Um, let's see here. How do I do that? I think you can unmute, Cindy. There yeah. you are. Hello. <laughs> so y'all, I want you to meet Cindy. And if you can see her, uh, where she is in her window, um, Cindy and I met about six years ago. And Cindy, maybe you could just tell the group sort of what you were thinking back then and, and why you chose this procedure. Not a problem. Actually, actually it was longer because you were working with my husband awesome. and he was the one that came back and said, you've got to see what doctor has created. This is amazing. And I was so reluctant to do anything, but uh, sometimes we needed motivation. And uh, my stepdaughter was getting married and I was so unhappy with how things looked. So I decided to bite the bullet and go ahead and do it. I had it like, I think it was mid-February of 2016 and her wedding was April 2nd. So I was going to be, um, I was uh, quick. I mean, I was amazed that I had picture perfect results. And now when I look back at the video, I'm like, oh my God, was I that bad? Because I didn't realize it, but we, when you have that camera side by side, it really makes a difference because you do get to understand how much of the results you're getting. And like, like Dr. said, it could be, you can be man, woman, young, old. It's really anybody who's unhappy with how that looks here will be amazed with what the results and the, the amount of time and how long it lasted was just incredible. So um, it, it's not, I didn't have, I have to admit though, doctor, I was under anesthesia. So and I would have preferred that. And looking at the pictures, I'm like, no, kind of scary. But again, you've perfected it over the time. So I'm sure um, to make it cost effective for some people, that's one way to do it. Because, you know, you have to usually pay more to, if you're going to go to sleep. So that's something that makes it more affordable for the patients, I would imagine. Am I right, doctor? I don't, yes, know if I'm putting, yeah. I don't know if I'm putting words in your mouth, but I would imagine it's more affordable. Yeah. So um, again, I hope I didn't put something out there that's not true, but I, I figured that that would definitely be a plus. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions that would want to ask me, but it, I had very little pain, um, numbness, tingling, but that's normal. But literally uh, end of February and to April 2nd, you know, I was the, uh, stepmom to the bride and, and everybody's like, Oh, you look great. But nobody knew what I did. So that's the way it's supposed to be done. Right. So. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, what we'll do Cindy is I have your pictures here. I have your OVO scans. So let's yes, show everybody right. how you looked before and uh, how you looked when we got your images in January this year. So, or December. So you guys take a look at Cindy before, and I just want you to know, we, let me back up here. Sorry. This is a different patient uh, with Cindy. We did not remove any skin. Uh, so I just want you to see here uh, how she looks. So we use the Precision TX laser, uh, which we call Smart Lipo as well. And I want, I'm going to stop this here, but look, you guys, this is before, and this is almost six years later. So this is five years and nine months. And uh, you can just see, I'm just going to let this video go. Uh, these are the OVO images, but look at her beautiful jawline. Um, this is, you know, six years, almost six years after the procedure, She's got beautiful results. And uh, that's the nice thing about it. It's, it's a long lasting procedure and it's mm -hmm. less invasive, which it totally upsets the paradigm because usually when you think less invasive, you think less effective and less long lasting. My Elevate switches that paradigm and flips it to where you can have something that's less invasive that will give you years of enjoyment. And I know Cindy's enjoyed hers and, you know, I always enjoy seeing her. And, and if I put up her pictures here, when we saw her at three years, they look, they even look better, I think at, you know, five years and nine months. So um, just a great representation of what it can do. And, and Cindy, if you'll stay on, what we'll do is yeah. I'll finish my little uh, talk here because I'm going to show some more slides. And then at the end, if people have questions, would I'm love happy to answer them. Yeah. Great. Oh my gosh. Thank you. So mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going on you guys, but let's just continue with Cindy's pictures. I want to finish them, but look at her when she's looking upwards. Remember you guys, no incision under the chin. Everything was done through little needle punctures. Um, she, you can just see her beautiful jawline, you know, and this is, this is years later. 
and uh, you'll see here in a minute when she looks downward, you'll see the tremendous support she has. And, and this comes from using the system to make the little cuts in the muscle bands and using the system to lift and support and shape everything under the jawline. Um, and it's permanent suture. Uh, it doesn't absorb or go away, but it's, we place it so it's safely right on that muscle. Uh, so it doesn't cause problems. But here you can see her looking down and you guys can see the, the tremendous support she has there, which is, is pretty awesome. You can really see her jawline. It really helps it just pop and, and be beautiful. And we're gonna to go to her last one here. I'll kind of speed it up just a little bit because I wanna show you some more patients. And here you can see her doing that uh, little muscle, that lovely pose. And we have everyone do this when you come to the office. Patients hate doing this, but it helps us really understand what we've done to make those muscle bands less noticeable. We don't make them go away 100%, but we certainly do take away a lot of their sort of uh, effect on the front of the neck. So let's go to our next one here. Um, this is another patient. Um, she's a PA over at Cedar sinai Hospital and didn't want to have a lift. But look at the quality of her skin. Uh, she had energy to help tone her skin, to tone and tighten it. Look at underneath her chin. Look at the support. And look at some of the laugh lines by her mouth area. Uh, you can just see that everything is flatter, uh, just, just more youthful, which is great, but yet naturally youthful. And she's got a little bit of the banding left, you know, so we always show patients that to remind them that we're not magicians, we can't make it go away completely, but we certainly do make it look better. And look at this one. This is, this is the money shot here. When she looks downward, notice the skin folds and so on. And remember, no skin was removed on this patient. Uh, we did her under local anesthesia as well. And here she is doing the funny neck motion where you can see those bands are just less effective at making the uh, cords there at the front of the neck. Here's another one. This guy's in his uh, early 40s. Uh, this is over a year afterwards. Just more of a sculpted jawline. You know, he was just starting to notice some early signs of aging. These are the type two patients where we use the laser to help tighten and tone the skin. And this next revolution, you'll see him looking downward. And once again, it's pretty impressive at the support that we get with the uh, technique. So look here, see the folds, and then look at his after images there on the right. Uh, here's yet another one. Uh, this gentleman is just six days after. So you'll be bruised and you can see he's got some bruising in the neck area, but it's not bad. You know, it's compared to a traditional invasive procedure. Uh, this is a, a quick, quick win and so on for patients. You do have downtime, have some bruising and stuff, but for women, we have them wear a scarf. Men, we tell them to grow a little scruff and, and that hides that for that first, you know, 10 days when they have a little bit of bruising. Um, here's our type three patient. Now we're going to get into the patients where we remove a little bit of skin. Uh, this is a beautiful result on someone uh, three and a half years after. Uh, we did some skin removal in the form of a neck lift, and this is with uh, Precision uh, TX, the laser we use now. Uh, and you can see her three and a half years later, um, just beautifully shaped, um, beautiful jawline, great support underneath the chin. And you'll see here when she looks up, um, you can just see she's got that nice definition. And, and this is the Hollywood jawline that we're talking about. Not everybody, you know, is going to look the same, but not everyone who comes in here looks the same. But we help you show off your genetically inherited, you know, characteristics the best way we can. And you can just see with her, it looks amazing. And she did not gain or lose any weight. This is, you know, she's steady with her weight. The reason her cheeks are a little bit red is I think Carissa treated her that day with, with one of our treatments here in the office. So it makes your cheeks turn a little bit red. Here's another one. She was very unhappy with her neck. This is a neck lift patient. Uh, this is six months after. Transformative for her. You know, she, she did not like that fullness of her neck. She said, you know, her mother and her grandmother, you know, had much more fullness there and, and she knew she was headed that direction. And so she had the procedure and, and you can see her here at six months, a really nice, nice transformation. Here's another one here, a lady who we did, uh, we did her neck and you can just see, you know, really nice uh, sculpting of the neck. She's got some nice shape to it and so on. This is just three weeks after. So I show you this just to show you that, you know, you're not going to be beat up for months and months and months. Um, there is recovery time with everything, but it is less invasive, which is, is pretty awesome. And then here's our type four. This would be an older patient. Uh, this is six days after. Um, this is an X-rated picture. Again, you're going to see where the little incisions are. Um, they heal really quickly. And I'm going to show you here, her here in a second. So you'll see her at three weeks, but you can see the little cuts around the ears. This is for the type 
three patient who needs a little skin removal. So these are type threes. And then here she is at three weeks. So, and there's no retouching on these, no Photoshop or anything. Uh, once again, and I did her eyes as well. So you'll notice her eyes look better, but just notice the little incisions are still a little bit red, you know, and that takes a little while for your body to put in the normal color, but that's at three weeks. So complications are very few patients. You know, we we're very upfront here and we were realistic and, you know, <laughs> we tell the truth. Uh, the great thing is, is infections are less than 3%. We can treat them with antibiotics. If the suture material ever came out or whatever, or was exposed, that's less than 1%. I haven't had it happen in a long time. There's no improvement in platysma banding. We go back and we do a revision. We don't charge for revisions. Uh, we fix those. Um, and then uh, if it's over tightened, that just doesn't happen anymore. In my hands, I've done you know, thousands of these. Um, and then um, if there's a nerve, the nerve sometimes can get a little bit of a bruise. If that happens, which happens in 3% of the time, it always gets better in just a few months. So nothing is permanent. All of them do very well. So what else do we do? We can do brow lifting and shaping with this. Uh, these are what we call my elevate brows. And you can see this before and after of this gentleman. Uh, here's this uh, young lady, her before and after. You can see her brow is lifted and shaped. Uh, we, do, we use it as well in this area. Here's another gentleman where we did a little brow lift on him. These are what we would call my elevate brow. And then mid face, uh, we're doing some research on this on the East Coast. Uh, many doctors are using this. I think we have over 150 doctors now in the United States doing the technique. So this is a doctor in New Jersey using the same technology I invented to lift the, the face area without incisions. So a very exciting time because a lot of doctors are seeing the value of light guided suture delivery. And so we're just getting all kinds of research that's being done and, and some pretty amazing results. Because like I was saying earlier, people don't wanna have a traditional facelift or neck lift. People would like to look better, but without something that, you know, leaves them with very visible scars or looking surgical or not natural. And that's where my Elevate fits in beautifully. So um, this is our team again. And, uh, you know, I, I think I'm right on time. Yes, Erica, I think I'm doing okay. I didn't want to ramble on because I want to give you all time for questions that I can see in the chat room. Yes. I don't see the questions, but Erica has them. them it looks you. like we have some. So we're going to go over the questions now. And if you think of more, please put them in the chat room. And Cindy's here, you guys as well. So if you have a direct question for her, uh, we can, uh, we can, Erica can relay that by a mm -hmm. chat. There's so a Erica, for Cindy as go well. ahead. Okay. Okay, so first question, how do you know if you also need a neck lift with my Elevate? Great question. So how do you know if you need a neck lift with uh, my Elevate? So remember what my Elevate is, is my Elevate's a way to lift and support the foundation of the neck, which means the muscles underneath the skin. So when I see patients here in the clinic, if they come in and they have some loose skin underneath the neck, and in my judgment, and after doing hundreds of these cases, I realize that the laser we use won't tighten it enough. Then what I tell them is I say, we need to remove a little bit of skin in conjunction with my Elevate. So if you need to have skin removed, we determine that during your visit. And that's on a you know one-to-one -one basis. Everybody is individual and different. And then we make the determination, the plan to remove a little bit of skin. If I feel like your skin is just starting to age a little bit and that the laser will work, then we would proceed with that. Great. How long do the microneedling results last? Yeah, so microneedling is pretty amazing. So microneedling, if you look at the skin under a microscope, um, you see new collagen that's being brought in uh, because microneedling heats the skin and creates a little bit of trauma. And if you look at the skin over a period of time, up to a year, you really see the most new collagen being uh, placed in the first six months. So I would say you see improvement scientifically for the first six months, but in practice and in the clinic here, we see improvement up to a year. Here's a compliment, doctor. Um, <laughs> Kinsey says your imaging system is next level. She's a photographer, so she knows about it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kinsey. Thank you. It helps us a lot. We use it. It's like an x-ray, honestly. And Diego, who's on today, he just presented a study. And it's amazing the feedback we get from patients. They really trust it. They love it. Great. Can you opt to be under general? Is it better for the doctor to have you awake? 
I would say um, you can opt for either general or local. Like I said, I did uh, one facelift this week under general, two under local, and then a my elevate under local. So it's really up to the patients and it doesn't make any difference with me at all. Um, some patients just don't want to be awake and they don't want to like, you know, they just, they'd rather just like go to sleep and wake up and everything's done. And some people have a little bit of a queasy stomach where they just don't even want to know about it too much detail. So those patients usually opt to go to sleep. And we also do IV sedation, which is great, which is twilight. And that means that we put an IV in and you just kind of go into la la land and we do the procedure, but you're breathing on your own and everything. And then when we're done, uh, you don't remember anything that we did and you didn't feel any pain. Okay, great. Um, we have a patient that shared with the group that he um, had a procedure three years ago with skin removal, and he has always described the post-surgery as a walk in the park, no discomfort whatsoever. Oh, had the, our procedure? Yes, one of our patients. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, we walk our patients through it, and, um, you know, it, it, it's I will tell you, I did it the old way. That's how I was trained at USC, where I trained in plastic surgery. And um, patients would be mad at me because they would be so beat up, you know, afterwards. And of course, they would always heal. With my Elevate, it's very nice because, you know, they see the results the next day. They're, they're happy the next day, right, guys? Mm -hmm. And yes. so we show them the next day. And then, you know, they have to heal. It's, it's, this isn't a lunchtime lift, but it's, it's just so much less invasive. So thank you, whoever said that, whoever's on here, thanks. Okay, did Cindy have any lipo also? Yes, we did do a little bit of lipo. And I would tell you, um, unless somebody's had a procedure before, like the gentleman we did today, he had a facelift, I think 15 years ago. So we did very minimal liposuction on him because somebody had done it already, his other surgeon 15 years ago. So most people have a little bit of fat deposits there. So almost everybody gets a little bit of lipo, but Cindy, I know we did, I do remember. I've been getting Botox on the banding and it worked great to relax. Now the Botox is not working anymore. Is there, is this a sign that my Elevate is needed? Yeah, so we kind of, you know, Botox works great when you're younger because the skin is more elastic and also the muscles are more elastic and they're a little bit tighter underneath there. So, you know, Botox works for a while and then the muscles start sagging and the muscle bands become more noticeable. So you're probably at a point where your skin's a little bit more lax and your muscles are sagging a little bit more. So you probably would be a perfect candidate for my Elevate. What is short incision facelift and does this work with my Elevate? Yeah, so I do, I do a lot of short scar. They're called short scar facelifts. And basically that just means that you don't go as far behind the ear. Uh, it's usually for people who have just a little bit of laxity just underneath the chin, and you're working more on that area. And so my Elevate works with any type of facelift or neck lift or short scar facelift. How long does my Elevate results last? So I've been doing it. The first one I did was October 12, 2007. And you all saw the OVO imaging system. So everyone who comes in here gets an image. And Parissa does a lot of procedures on our patients who've had prior uh, My Elevate procedures. And so if she's getting ready to do a microneedling, she'll get an image on those patients. And so we have the opportunity to compare those with their befores. So their procedure may have been done years ago. So we're seeing results that are lasting five plus years, which is really exciting. Well, you have to come back and for the procedure down the road to get new bands. Yeah, so we don't want you to get new bands. <laughs> uh, the bands are the muscle bands, but I think what you're talking about is, is like a new My Elevate system. Um, once again, I've been doing it long enough to where, you know, patients may have it done as a standalone where we don't remove skin. And then they come back maybe seven, eight years later and they have a little saggy skin. So that's when we would do a little skin tuck. The nice thing is we can just place another My Elevate there because just like everything, we, we reset the aging clock and then it starts moving forward again. So just like your skin, the My Elevate is going to slowly get a little bit more lax underneath the skin. So we can go in and put a new one in. A lot of our patients ask me, you know, can't we have like a little turnkey to like tighten this, you know, behind the ear? And we're not there yet, but um, we can just place another, a new one in and tighten that one up. So you absolutely can have it done, you know, in five, six, seven years if it starts getting loose. 
If you get myelinate in your 30s, does it prevent a lot of neck aging you see in your 40s and 50s? You know, I would have to say, you know, I've done enough of these in younger patients and, you know, they'll come in and they'll have something else done and we get the picture. We always get the view where they're looking down. Um, part of the imaging system is I came up with a workflow because I want to see everything in every dimension and they still have support there. And so we joke about it with our patients and we tell them they have sort of a secret weapon to kind of hold things there. Because if you think about it, you know, your jawbone is very firm and rigid, but everything, you know, in between the jawbone and on the sides is not. But if you have that secret little corset in there, then, you know, intuitively, you're going to have a way of supporting things that someone who doesn't have it doesn't. So I think it slows down the aging process. We haven't done a formal study to look at that. But I would say intuitively, yes, it would, it would keep you a little bit tighter for a little bit longer. Okay, so just a few more questions here. Sure. Um, what is the average downtime? So the average downtime for a MyElevate procedure with energy, like the patient we did today where we didn't remove skin, he's gonna have bruising for about 10 days, 10 to 14 days. Most of that bruising towards the, you know, at, at about 10 days will be down in the lower neck and he'll have some tightness there and so on. Um, we have them wear a chin strap for three days and then a soft collar when they're sleeping or laying down for 10 days because we want to keep the neck in neutral position. So that person's going to have to hide out for probably four to five days. If they don't care if anybody, if, if people see that they've had something done, then they certainly could go to a lunch or a meeting or whatever, you know, at three to four days. For patients who've had facelifts or necklace, they have stitches in for six days and they have bruising for probably about two weeks. And at three weeks, they're, they're looking pretty good, but they'll still have some tightness there and so on, you know, because the laser tightens the skin and so on. So you have some lumpy bumpiness that you have to deal with. We tell people at six weeks, that's when you can be married or be in a movie or be in front of the camera, or if you're a politician, you can be out giving a speech, or if you're a clergyman, you can be up you know, preaching in church. Um, so at six weeks, you're good to go with the neck lifts. With the My Elevate at three weeks, you're pretty good to, to be a normal person. Now we promised everyone to get them out by five. We have three more questions. Oh my gosh. So we're All trying right. to stay How are on we schedule. Doing? My clock's a little ahead, so we have okay. eight minutes. Okay. Eight minutes. Great, great. For My Elevate, that does not need skin removal. Can you walk through the post recovery? What we would feel, what we can be, when can we be active again? Um, when the noticeable suture marks will be gone? He is also thanking you for this today. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thank you. So my elevate alone without skin mm -hmm. removal. Without skin removal. Yeah, so let's just talk about, well, I'll talk about our patient today. So tomorrow when we see him, he's going to be bruised. Um, and and you, what, we put a big dressing on for the first night. So we'll see him tomorrow morning. He'll be bruised. He'll have bruising down in the neck area. And it'll look a little bit tight. And when he looks down and so on, it's going to pull a little bit behind the ears. And we have them do that when they come in here. Because Walter, Walter sees all the patients with me, but he sees them first and gets them all cleaned up. We want them to tell us that they feel a little tightness behind their ears because that just confirms that everything's where it should be. So he'll be able to see the results tomorrow. He'll be able to see it right away. Then he's going to get a little bit more swelling for the next three days. So we have them ice as much as they can for the next three days. So it's no coincidence we did him on a Thursday and he's got this weekend, you know, to just ice, ice, ice. So he'll do that. We give them Arnica as well to reduce the bruising. He'll have some bruising for six to 10 days. But in men, as I was saying, they can have a little scruff and that hides a lot of stuff or they can wear a high collared shirt. And then he should be able to go back out and about and be with people, you know, late next, mid to late next week. So we're talking in about six days. That's usually kind of when, and we check in with everybody at six days. And that's usually when they can go out and about, they're going to feel tight and so on. You know, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's a procedure. We're doing a lot of work underneath the skin. But then when they're ready to go out and about and see people, it's usually two to three weeks where they look really good. And they can go back to the gym and do light activity at three weeks. Okay. This is a two-part question. Um, pre precision or face tight? Um, one of the viewers saw a clip of you uh, doing a reality star on Vanderpump. Yes. And you used face tight on that episode. So what is the <laughs> difference between those two? 
That's precision and face type. Good question. Yes. Good question. Great question. Yes. <laughs> you guys are a great audience. My goodness. These are great questions. So a uh, little background, Precision uh, TX, which is a laser technology from Sinusure. Uh, that technology I started using in 2011. I, I just knew I knew this was something that worked well with my Elevate. Because remember, I've been developing this for a long time. And I like the combo of energy to tighten the skin with my Elevate. So I used it for seven years and had the camera system, which I invented in 2011, to go back so I can look at those results. Then in 2018, I bought FaceType because the marketing was very good and patients were asking about it. And I looked at the research papers like I do with everything that we have here before we buy them. And I thought it seemed like good technology. So I used it for almost four years. And then I went back and looked at my results, just like I did with you all today. And I realized that uh, Precision TX, the laser, in my hands just worked better. I, I found that my results looked better. The skin, the next skin down here is a little bit more tricky because it's very thin. And I found with the face tight, it could make it lumpy bumpy for some time. And I don't like that nor do the patients, do they? No, no, we no. Do not. they agree. Um, anyway, so I, I invested in Precision TX again because I think it's just a better technology in my hands for the neck and face area. So that's kind of my, but I still have face tight. Um, we haven't had anybody totally want face tight. You know, I usually explain to them that the other works better in my hands, but we have both. The second part of her question, um, what's the difference between precision TX and all therapy? She's a bit afraid of all therapy because of the reports of it dissolving fat and causing laxity. She's curious yeah. of your thoughts. Sure, sure. These are such good questions. Yes. So old therapy, I never invested in old therapy because of what you just said in your question, because it, it melts fat and it goes too deep and it's quite painful. So I invested in a technology, we've had it two years, is that right? The uh, Softwave. Mm -hmm. And Softwave uh, was developed uh, by an Israeli company that I know well, and they always come up with winners. And Softwave is ultrasound energy but it stays right in the skin. And that's the genius part about the technology. And it's a, a tremendous amount of energy that goes into the skin. Carissa just did one earlier today. And that causes tightening of the skin. And as a matter of fact, um, everyone here in the room, except me, has had my Elevate, which is unfair. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, Parissa and uh, Erica had Softwave the day before we did my Elevate. So that's the energy they use to tighten their skin. And I think you asked me to compare it with face tight, maybe? Precision. Oh, precision, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would say precision is probably a little bit more powerful and heats the undersurface of the skin. Um, these two, when I did them, I only had the face tight because I just bought the Precision TX machine a few months ago. So they saw patients come in here with the lumpy mumpiness. So they both elected to have soft wave. And plus they're younger and they wanted a little less energy. So I would say soft wave is for someone who has just very minimal skin laxity. Precision TX is for somebody who has a little bit more laxity and needs a little bit more energy there to tighten the skin. Okay, the last question. How tight does it feel after surgery, my Elevate? And does my Elevate lift any crepiness? Yeah, so, um, it, I mean, you guys have had it before, so it feels tight, right? At first, yeah. after the procedure, mm -hmm. feels tight, especially when you look down or right. tip your head back. And, so and it get feels, a range of motion in there. Right, and we have them do range of motion, so it feels better with the range of motion, but we want it to feel tight. And we actually, we, we check for that and we ask patients, does it feel tight? And they'll say, oh yeah, it feels tight when I tip my head back and we tell them, perfect. So we, it does feel tight. That usually lasts probably about three, three to weeks. three weeks, yeah. three to four weeks where you feel the tightness. And then that slowly goes away. Um, the next part of the question was- Does my Elevate lift any crepiness? Oh yeah, so my Elevate doesn't do anything with the crepiness. It does lift the skin a little bit because we never detach the skin from the underlying muscle. The crepiness, that's why I go with Precision TX. And that's why we go with a soft wave um, because that's a skin quality issue. And so we wanna use uh, energy, whether it's a laser, ultrasound, or uh, something like FaceTight, which is RF technology. We wanna heat that skin so that we damage the collagen in a very controlled manner. And then the body puts in new collagen and that helps a little bit with the crepiness. Microneedling, 
probably would be our number one treatment for crepiness, which is what we're giving away today. So it's a perfect timing for this question. Um, but microneedling is probably the best thing for crepiness. Crepiness is tough. And, you know, a lot of people have it. And we're always trying to find a solution for it. And we're always trying to give our patients the best solution. But I would say microneedling would be number one. And then we combine it with these other technologies to tighten the skin. Fantastic. Wow, that's all of them? Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, well, we're going to have our raffle now. Yes. So um, Erica is going to, we're going to look and see who's on here. Let's see here. And I will open this up. So if we call a name and you're not still on the webinar, we will pull the next name. So everyone's name is in this little bowl here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pick the lucky winner. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to have share, share the fun with the team. Rissa. Tim C. Are you on the call, Tim C? Going once. <laughs> Going twice. Tim, see if you can send a uh, chat. Tim, if chat. you're on the call, can you respond in the chat room, please? Don't think he's on anymore. Okay. Okay, Let's we're gonna go to one. the next, the next one. Lifting it up good, <laughs> Walter. Walter's drawing. $2,500. It is. Jeez. Susan C. Susan, oh, I think you're here. <laughs> you are here. Congratulations, Susan. I will call you. We'll get you set up. <laughs> good enough. I think we're good. I've never won anything. So <laughs> for those of you who didn't win, that's me. <laughs> so <laughs> congratulations, Susan. Um, any last questions before we go? We really want to make sure we stick to our timeline. And, and I want to thank Cindy. Um, Cindy, thank you so much for being on here today. And, you know, thank you for pushing me back then to not remove skin. I know I was pushing you to do a lift. And she said, no, I want to try it uh, with the laser. And we did it. And we both were very happy. And here we are years later. And look, you know, the proof is in the pudding. You know, <laughs> you look great. So I just want to thank everybody for spending time with us this afternoon. And um, I hope this gave you kind of a view of, of what we do here in the office. And, and we may be small, but I think we're mighty. <laughs> we, we do a lot of stuff. It drives these guys crazy because I love technology. And I've been told I can't buy any more because we don't have room for it. But um, we're just totally into innovating and we're totally into doing things that work and using our imaging system to prove that those things work and also showing you the results of what we can do for you. And uh, we have a lot of other technologies, but today I know it was about my Elevate and, and I just want to thank everybody for spending time. And I can see here some of you are patients who've been in, some of you are patients who are coming in, and uh, obviously there's someone here who had the procedure and I just... So appreciate you chiming in and, and I want to thank everybody for your time. Anything that you guys have to wrap it up? Thank you so much for joining. Nice to see <laughs> all of your faces. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. You soon. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.